Hi, my name is Antonis and I am the iconographer of this video. Thank you all so much for subscribing and for commenting uh, to my channel. It's really nice and uh, I'm very very happy that uh, you get better iconographers, you get uh, uh, some information uh, you need and uh, that uh, you come back to the channel to become even better. It's really nice and uh, thank you all so much. Please, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, press the button below and uh, do subscribe. For today's video, I've uh, decided to comment on uh, a list um, of ways that uh, you can become better iconographers. So without any further ado, let's uh, go to uh, the tip number one that uh, will help us all. The first tip is uh, a little bit, uh, um, I guess, uh, personal. Uh, I think we should uh, start uh, appreciating uh, more uh, what we paint and uh, find it in our hearts to live uh, for a little in uh, the icon we paint. What I mean by that is that uh, if, for example, we paint uh, Saint uh, Paraskevi, let's say, or uh, Saint George, or any saint, we can uh, recall and uh, consider a little bit uh, his or her life, think uh, of uh, uh, the martyrdom uh, he suffered or she suffered, and uh, try to see how the, the, the expression of uh, this saint uh, might be, what would be his or her thoughts, um, how he would look like, and uh, just try to, to transfer ourselves uh, into the period the saint lived and uh, uh, the way he or she died. If we paint uh, if we paint uh, Christ or Virgin Mary, we can try and see if we can uh, live the joy of uh, his uh, resurrection. It's always nice to do a little pray before starting. Uh, uh, it helps. Older masters, uh, we are much more diligent uh, on this matter. Uh, notoriously, they would fast, they would uh, pray. Maybe we don't or we cannot be uh, like them, but we could at least be a little bit uh, attentive of uh, our lives as much as uh, somebody can uh, to make our lives uh, reflect uh, just a bit of uh, the light uh, that we paint. For tip number two, to become better iconographers, it's always helpful to paint once in a while from nature. Uh, a portrait of a person we love is a great uh, exercise, but even uh, if we paint a still life, uh, some flowers uh, or a landscape uh, is great. Painting from nature can become a great teacher for us. We can learn more about uh, the anatomy of a figure the way light uh, fell, falls uh, on a body, the way the drapes uh, uh, are folded on a figure, many things about uh, composing, uh, composing uh, our subject, many things uh, we can learn uh, when we paint from uh, the nature. Sometimes we see uh, details in uh, holy icons or frescoes from the old masters that are painted in a very naturalistic way. It's, uh, it's a playful uh, and whimsical, uh, it's a whimsical detail and uh, it's always very refreshing and uh, su su um, surprising to see. For tip number three, I would suggest uh, to do more studies on the works of uh, 
all their masters. There are always uh, secrets in their work uh, waiting uh, to be revealed uh, uh, from us. I always learn something when I copy uh, an icon from the old masters, even if I have copied this icon uh, 10 or 20 or 30 times. So try to copy an icon and see if you can uh, learn something uh, out of it. When you paint, uh, be concentrated and um, try to follow the master as thoroughly as you can. And uh, when you do that, be, hum be humble and uh, thankful. Um, as if uh, the master was there, uh, alive uh, with you, painting and uh, teaching you. For tip number four, try to see if you can find somebody you trust to review your icons. It's always nice to have our moms and aunts review what we paint and to bathe us with their admiration. I miss it very much and I wish I had my mother review my paintings. But uh, anyway, it is uh, better to find uh, a more accomplished uh, iconographer and uh, ask for a kind but uh, sincere review. This uh, will help you um, to see your weaknesses and uh, to stop repeating uh, chronic mistakes. So be courageous and uh, bold and fearless and uh, accept uh, sincere criticism uh, like an adult. And uh, finally, for tip number five, uh, I would suggest to visit as many museums as possible. If you can find a museum that uh, exhibits uh, Byzantine icons, it would be great. But uh, if not, and uh, the museum closer to your uh, uh, home city does not accommodate any Byzantine icons, then any painting period is good. Seeing an artwork uh, Live informs us in uh, ways that uh, no photograph uh, can. Um, I would strongly suggest to have a notebook with you and to take notes on uh, uh, the um, how to you think a specific icon uh, uh, was painted. For example, uh, what colors the iconographer used uh, for his proplasmi, uh, how he painted, uh, say, the hair or the clothing, etc. Try to absorb as much as you can and then compare your uh, uh, notes or your mental notes to the photograph uh, reference of the icon you studied in, the, in your studio. Anyway, these are my five tips for uh, uh, becoming better iconographers. Thank you all so much for, uh, um, for being with me here. And uh, please do subscribe if you find this uh, helpful. More content is about to come and more videos. And uh, thank you all so, so much. Have a blessed week. See you soon. Bye.